Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode, I talk about the EQ Plus and the EQ5 and the little difference you need to know if you use uh, one or the other. But um, yeah, let's get started. So in this example, um, I created um, a snare drum here. And the snare drum is rooted through um, the FX layer, one original and one to one of the EQs or both. At the moment, there is um, EQ plus and EQ5 as default. Nothing is configured uh, in here in both. And um, there's a little um, difference between those. Um, you will um, hear it uh, soon because the EQ plus has a little like um, latency in it. Um, it's like about uh, three to five samples. There are, the uh, KVR forum is full of threads about this. And, and this is, as Bitwig said, by design, they uh, created that EQ that you can use it in a live performance, uh, throwing in in a live performance, and it doesn't create a, a lag or um, a dropout or uh, let's stop the, the signal for, for a millisecond or so. And um, but there's a, um, a discussion ongoing that they say that uh, people are saying, uh, why isn't that uh, compensated? Or why can't you see it? And um, when when the EQ Plus was introduced, um, I don't think it was communicated and really uh, um, good that there is something like that and um, that you shouldn't use the EQ plus while paralleling processing. You can use it, but then you have to do something. But let me show what this EQ plus, EQ plus is doing right now. So I have this snare drum over here, this loop. And as I said, there's one layer, the original signal is going through and another layer, so parallel processing is going over here. I compensated that, so um, if, you, if I switched it off, there's the same loudness. And now I switch on the EQ5 and the sound shouldn't change right now, okay? And it didn't change. So now you do the same with the EQ plus and now listen carefully. So and this happens when you use the EQ plus in uh, in the parallel processing. You can compensate this with a time shift device. I put that in a chain so it can switch on and off the time shift with the EQ plus at the same time. So I need to go like minus four samples over here. If I switch it on and off, So that you should know when parallel processing, I emphasize this several times, uh, when you parallel process a sound. If you just use the EQ plus in a linear, so no parallel processing, I deactivate these devices like that, then there is no sound difference if you use EQ plus or the EQ5. Just listen. Thank <laughs> you. 
So just keep in mind, you always can use EQ plus or the EQ5, but in a, in a situation where you are splitting the signal like in, in a FX layer or um, maybe when you use something like a multiband uh, splitter, the, for example, the multiband FX2 or 3 or, or whatever, when you split and parallel process, um, there could be some um, differences in, in the timbre in, in your sound. So um, be aware of that because some people were discussing this for a month right now or maybe since years since EQ Plus came out. And uh, it seems that not very much people know about this. They know there's some differences, but um, they are not aware of this parallel processing thing right now. And what does it mean? What does it sound like that? So you should know right now what the differences are and uh, when you can use EQ Plus and when not, or when you use EQ Plus, like uh, you can, you should compensate this with like a, a time shift device. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you liked it and I hope you, I see you soon again. See you. Ciao, ciao.